What is up guys, it is Tim tonight here and today welcome back to another Black Ops 4 Zombies video and in this video I'm going to be giving you guys a high round strategy for the Black Ops 4 Zombies map Ancient Evil so without further ado, let's get right into it. First things first, you don't have to do the easter egg for the strategy, this is literally a non easter egg strategy. Figure I'd point that out because I know there's a strategy going around where you can train in the easter egg boss fight, while that strategy is good. Having to do a whole easter egg just to go for high rounds might be a turn off for some people. The easter egg is fairly easy to do but sometimes you just want to go for high rounds and that's it. Well that is what I'm here for so yeah let's go over a few prerequisites. Before going into the map you want to equip the perks Dying Wish, Stamina Up, Time Slip, and Zomshell as the modifier perk. You can have any of those perks as your modifier but I put Zomshell as the modifier just cause why not but you're definitely going to need those four perks especially Dying Wish and Stamina Up. For the specialist weapon I usually equip the Viper and Dragon. Equipment, you're not going to worry about that for now. And for your starting weapon, you can equip any weapon you want to. It's not really going to matter once you're all set up. When you spawn into the map, obviously acquire the Sentinel Artifact and open Pack Punch by getting the Golden Brittle and riding the Pegasus over to the Unrolled section of the map. Open a few doors and use your Specialist Weapon to open these bird cages. And after that, just go to the center of the world, complete a lockdown, and bam, Pack Punch is open. Now what you're going to want to do is obtain and upgrade one of the Hand 1 weapons. I personally recommend the Hand of Gaia since it's super easy to upgrade. You can get the Hand of Uranos or the Hand of Sharon too, but those hands are kind of tricky to upgrade. Literally all you have to do for the Hand of Gaia upgrade is shoot some branches of crystals on them. A seedling will then spawn in front of the branches that you shot at. Bring those seedlings to where you got the Hand of Gaia, go through the portal, kill some zombies, and that's all that there is to it. If you need any additional help, I'll be replying to every comment in the comment section down below. The last thing you'll really need aside from the shield, which I assume you have already, is the Pegasus Strike. This thing is an absolute beast. In order to get the Pegasus Strike, you gotta get an anvil, a hammer, and prongs. The anvil is located in the cliff ruins, the hammer is located in the python pass, and finally the prongs are located in the river of sorrow. Build the Pegasus Strike at the forest station and that will replace your equipment, but that's okay. Now that we got that taken care of, onto the training spot. Admittedly, Ancient Evil isn't the best map for training, but the safest spot I can find for training is at Stoa of the Athians slash the sacred way. I'll show you gameplay of me training in that area to give you an idea on how to train that area. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said, I wanted to give you guys a high round strategy that didn't involve doing the Easter egg. If you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to smash the like button down below and subscribe if you are new for more Black Ops Zombies content. But my name is Tim Tanaya here. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Just keep us positive vibes flowing and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.